Peace and prosperity, Beyonce. All he's listening and watching. It's your girl, Shay Melo Wright, and I'm back with another video. They say when you fall seven times, you get right back up. Just because you fall, you fail, you fall short, you make mistakes, you have flaws, you sin. You know, sometimes you sin. You know, sometimes you're disobedient to God. Sometimes you don't follow in your calling when you know God's calling you. Um, but sometimes we fall short as humans. We're not perfect. We're not meant to be. But should we hold ourselves accountable? We should. Should we step up more and step out? Yes, we should. Usually we are holding ourselves back. My thing is, what have you, what have you failed in lately? What have you f fallen in, right? Not failed. What have you fallen in lately that you blame yourself for, that you've had doubts about because you've done it and you've tried it numerous times and it still hasn't worked right it's a specific area it's a specific uh career that you chose it's a specific relationship what is it in your life that you've done all you felt like you could you've tried every solution in the book you tried different approaches or you just use your own approach and you didn't learn anything new to apply but you've done all you thought you could to make the situation better to make it better and you're just like i just give up not that you give up as far as give up trying or give up continuing the journey right as far as like letting it go and giving it to god because when you're out of your strength you have to let it go you no longer have the answers the one who has the answers the one who can make a way out of no way is the one that you need to give it to so i say unto you today if you're falling short in an area in your life whether it be your relationship your you know marriage your, your kids uh school uh you know goals your dreams your health any area of your life right if you're falling short in that area Find some way to be consistent. Find some way to improve. Matter of fact, don't just do it on your own. Invite God into your situations. Today, I challenge you today to invite God in every aspect of your life. Whatever aspects of your life that God is not in, I want you to today, I want you to today, invite God into those areas. Invite God into your finance. Invite God into your relationship. Invite God into your goals, your health. God is concerned about all aspects, not just some aspects of you. So don't give God the short end of the stick and think he just cares about this part of you. God cares about every bit of you, your business, your marriage, your children, how well you do in his covenant for your life all these things god it matters to god and when you give god the opportunity and invite him into your situations he opens doors he makes a way out of no way and he lightens your load because his yoke is light and easy give your burdens to god give the areas you're failing at that you no longer can handle on your own unto god I challenge you to invite God into your life, into areas of your life that you no longer can handle on your own. I challenge you.